fixed. What we got here is a cool bot. <laughs> Lots of folks use these to cool a walk-in cooler using a commodity air conditioner. You can buy a lot more BTUs for less if you're buying air conditioners than if you're buying traditional walk-in condensers and evaporators. So uh, this one was in a friend's walk-in and um, stopped working. He gave me an emergency call. Hey, help. There was some condensation inside the cool bot. And so I've taken it apart. and looked inside and there was a bit of corrosion down in here this is the power plug it uses a usb plug it's got a little plug for a heater the heater goes onto the thermostat for the actual air conditioner and tricks the air conditioner into running longer it's got a little sensor thermocouple that goes in the fins of the air conditioner to sense if they're getting frosted up and then it's got just a room sensor um, thermocouple like this here you can probably see that that's pretty corroded in there. This is just a very fine file, like an emery cloth, except it's it's much stiffer. It's an actual file, metal file, but very fine. So I use this just to clean contacts and things like that. So basically, we're looking through a magnifier here. There was some corrosion in between these these soldered connections here and you can see a little bit of white still on this capacitor you can see a little corrosion here but yeah there was water i guess accumulating in here so i'm just cleaning up all these little connections making sure that nothing is bridged between these conductors if we wanted to take this to the next level we could source one of these connectors and resolder the whole thing but I've got a feeling that if I just clean this up and clean up that other power supply or maybe put a whole new power supply, that this thing will power on. All right, so I have cleaned this connector and done a little spruce up on this one. Got those little contacts there. I also cleaned up the actual connector from the power supply, but in the meantime, I noticed that in there, one of these little fine wire contacts is broken. So I don't think this power supply is reliable, but I'm going to try it, just test it here and see if it works. And I've got the heater and the fins and the room temp sensor plugged in. All right. So we got power. That's good. Oh, and it's 63 degrees in here. That sounds about right. All right, well, that is awesome. It is working. Uh, I will reinstall this in the case and um, find a new power supply for it and get it back in the cooler. All right. I like to keep some small files around for doing this sort of cleaning, to get rid of corrosion or anything. So I have these, I don't know if these would be considered jeweler's files, but some of them are very fine. And they're great for using like an emery board, but they're harder so you can pick it at things. So this is the power supply that came with the cool bot. And one of those little tiny connectors inside is loose, it's broken. So this works, but not reliably. Not enough to keep a, a walk-in full of product reliably running. So this is one amp at five volt what came with the cool bot. I found another one. This is from a Petzl headlamp, but this is also one amp. And then this one is 2.1 amps. I don't like this style as well because it actually has two connectors because you have to worry about this connector and the small one. I guess that would be USB A and mini. And then uh, around this one, you don't have to worry about connector here. You only have to worry about the other end. I think if, if Coolbot really wanted to improve their product, they wouldn't use that style connector. They would use something with screw terminals, or something a little more robust, and they would also put a conformal coating over all the, all the components on the inside. Um, 
so that it couldn't be affected. They know that these are going to be in cool, wet conditions. It's kind of surprising that it's not epoxy coated on the inside. I don't know if that's just so that they can work on them. Uh, it will do warranty repairs on them. I'm not really sure, but anyway. Running. Fixed. Mm -hmm.